How long does it take to become successful? <laughs> I'm going to give you an answer. Um, a short answer. That's an actual number. And then I'm going to give you the real answer, right? So in this video, I'm going to talk about like the journey from wanting your life to be one way, but it's a completely different way and what it takes to get there, right? Because success is relative. People have different uh, definitions of success. And as you learn and you grow, your definition of success changes, right? So uh, when I was 21, if you described my life now, I would say I am relatively successful in that my life looks similar to what I would have wanted it to look like. But now that I'm at this age, of course, I have different goals and aspirations. But how did I go from where I once was to where I am now? And how long does that take? So the first thing I want to share with you guys is a quote that I think I heard first from Gary V. right? He says, people overestimate what they can do in one year, but underestimate what they can do in five. So if you wanted me to give you some answer in terms of this is how many years it's going to take, I would say at least five years, right? And here's the principle behind that. One year at the beginning of the year seems like a long time, and at the end of the year, it always seems like it flew by, right? There's really only so much you can do in one year. It's a very limited amount of time, and it takes a long time to change the circumstances of your life because that necessitates the changing of thought patterns and habits. And those changes in your actual behavior is what changes your life. And generally speaking, it's very difficult to change so many different thought patterns and habits all at one time. So how it actually works more so is that the change will compound. So for example, right, let's say right now you don't like your life, you want to be more wealthy, more healthy, like all of these things, right? The first thing you might have to do is, well, you might have to establish an exercise habit, right? Um, and that might take you a couple months to just get in the habit of like three to five times a week I'm working out, right? And that might take you half the year to get down. And then after that half the year, um, you decide, man, like with me doing all of this working out, uh, I should eat better because it's a waste of all my effort if I'm working out and not eating better, right? So then you start uh, changing your diet, right? And then that leads to you having more energy overall because now you're a much healthier person. And then the next year, then since you have more energy, you decide, hey, I have extra time to like learn a new skill. And so you start learning that skill and you're maintaining and you, you might spend like all that whole second year getting good at that skill. Then the third year, you're like, hey, I'm pretty good at this now. Uh, I want to turn this into a side hustle. So now you're, you know, healthier. You have this side hustle that's making a little bit of money. And now you're learning about business to try and grow that side hustle. All right. And that takes you another whole year to get good to the point where you're consistently making money off of that side hustle. And then you learn about investing. Maybe it's something where you randomly meet a guy who tells you about investing. And then you're like, well, I have this side money. I can start putting it into an investment vehicle and make more money, right? And then the next year, you actually start seeing some gains uh, in terms of your investments from what you were doing there. You see how that like is a very like nonlinear kind of thing. The, the point that I'm making is that your success is compound, right? So you don't want to put so much pressure on yourself to accomplish and change your whole life in a year because just based on what I've seen, like it could happen. I hope it happens for you. But if it doesn't happen in a year, you definitely shouldn't give up because uh, it compounds and it sometimes takes a while to go from being one type of person to a completely different type of person. And I say that to give you a realistic idea of what it actually takes to change your life circumstances, right? 
it's starting with one thing and then that leading to another thing and another thing and another thing and all of those changes and improvements compound until you're at a point where you may no longer recognize yourself in a good way. However, I find a lot of times when people ask this kind of question, more so what they're looking for is some kind of a guarantee, right? They want someone to tell them that if you do these things, then your life will definitely be different. <laughs> um, and to be honest, there are no guarantees really in life, right? We made those up for contracts and for marketing <laughs> purposes. That's just what it is, right? You could die tomorrow. In fact, like, I personally have had an experience where I almost died. Um, at the time, I was doing okay. I was kind of like on my path, on my journey, but not taking it very seriously. Um, I went out with a bunch of friends to a local waterfall to just go hang out, maybe take some pics, swim, and as I was, you know, getting into the water, having my fun, I took a step, not realizing that there was a steep drop off and I'm not a great swimmer. So immediately I plunge deep into the water and I start to drown. Right. And I almost died that day. That's like a real story of my life. Right. And I remember there are many well, not actually many. There were only a few things that I really was thinking about when I thought or when I realized that I might drown and I might die here, right? I thought about my mom. I thought, man, she would be really sad if I died here. Thought about my then girlfriend, now wife. Thought, man, it would really suck if <laughs> I died here. You know, she would be sad our whole lives that we wanted to have together wouldn't happen. And the third thing I thought about was how many things I wanted to create that I had not created. I felt a certain sense of regret that I had been wasting time, that there was so much that I could have done that I didn't do. And at that point, I resolved that I was going to do those things, right? In fact, this, what I'm doing now, is one of those things. In life, you don't have guarantees. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you leave nothing on the table. See, a lot of people, they think, if I'm able to have a guarantee, so for example, if someone told you, all right, I need you to do X, Y, and Z for 10 years. Now, at the end of the 10 years, we have this contract. You are definitely going to get $10 million. A lot of people would, without hesitation, just do whatever it takes, sacrifice the 10 years, knowing that there was a guarantee of $10 million at the end. But what I would like to propose to you is that with or without the guarantee, if something is your purpose, if there's something that you want to do, become, accomplish, create, then it really doesn't matter how long it takes. You should start looking at that goal and just walking towards it. You don't even need to know how it's going to work out. Along my journey, I did not know how this was going to work out. Like, I literally just started using a camera because I was into guitar. And then that led to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing. And then suddenly I have this life that I'm pretty happy with, right? And along this journey, there were many guarantees of things like so for example I could tell you I was at my uh, web development job at one point and I knew it was guaranteed that the next year I was going to get a raise because I had very clear like you know this is this tier that is that tier I had accomplished everything we talked about it. it's like okay I'm going to move up to this next tier and get a raise right that was guaranteed but then I came across the opportunity to do something more aligned with making video for a living. And this would actually guarantee me less money, <laughs> right? At the time, 
you know, temporarily. I didn't know if it was going to be temporary or permanent or whatever. All I knew is that taking the job where I was going to be able to work more with video is going to be more in line with my goals, my dream for myself, my what what they call in the book, The Alchemist, your personal legend. So I just took that opportunity, even though I had a guarantee of more money elsewhere. And I'm so glad that I took not the guarantee, that I took the chance, right? And that my life has become what it has. Now, from the point where I left that job (laughs) to pursue video, it still took me quite some time to get to the amount of money I would have been getting (laughs) with my web development job. And as someone who has sacrificed and has gotten there, I will tell you personally, in my opinion, in my experience, it was worth it. But when you're in it, it doesn't always feel like it's worth it. You feel like, I want to know that at some point, this is going to work out for me. But I think there's something more valuable than a guarantee, right? It's what I discovered in my near-death experience. That ultimately in this life, there are things that we are supposed to do and supposed to pursue. It's different for each person, but you know what it is. And nothing is worth sacrificing that for. It doesn't matter how long it takes because the journey itself will be worth it. It doesn't matter if ultimately it all works out in the end, right? Something could happen to me. I lose the the use of my hands and legs and now I can no longer be a camera operator. But I could tell you for a fact I won't regret the time that I spent pursuing this. I mentioned earlier the book The Alchemist. I think if you're someone who is on a journey of any kind of of some sort of achievement or attainment, that's a book that's important for you to try and read. In the book, it talks about the concept of a personal legend Or essentially just like what we would call going after your dreams or whatever, right? And in today's society, a lot of people make that sound like a foolhardy thing that you shouldn't do so that you just settle for whatever, you know, life it is that they settled for, whatever it is they're trying to convince you of, okay? I want to give you an alternative view here in today's video, Success is not the accomplishment of some goal because as soon as you accomplish that goal, you'll have a new goal, right? That is the nature of things, how things go in this life. True success is had by simply following your conscience, doing the things that you know you should do, whether that's improving your financial state so that you can take better care of your family, whether that's learning a craft so that you can share abstract ideas with the world, whatever that is, As soon as you start pursuing that, you become successful. I'm telling you because when I almost died, I felt unsuccessful, not because I didn't have money or my life sucked, but because there were things I knew I should have done that I did not do. Although it will feel difficult, although at times you will feel hopeless, This is where the true success is, simply in doing the thing, regardless 
of what you think the outcome will be. And I'd like to propose to you, right, that you should have some faith, have some hope. Because I think if you do your best, I believe, and it has been my experience and the experience of many others, that if you do your best in the pursuit of this thing, you will be successful, no matter how long it takes. And when you get there, <laughs> you actually won't care how long it took. <laughs>